Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is another fun pick a card video and today the theme is what's blocking you from finding love. Okay, if there is any reason that you may need to know or maybe you don't know or why you're not finding love or why you have been maybe through different relationships and not finding love or maybe you are in a relationship and you know it's not meant to be and you're just trying to understand what's going on. This is the video for you and this is a collab with the lovely Moon Moth Goddess. All her details will be below. She has a lovely channel and uh, many different videos, other collabs, pick a card videos, many different themes. She has a lovely way of doing her pick a cards. She always have many cards as well. So I think you will like her style and I'll leave all the details below. Okay. And go check her out as well if you wanted to choose the same piles here or if you want to choose a different there and and another one here let me know maybe one reading will complement the other will help you out in in any way and if it does like always let me know leave me a comment and if you're coming from her channel thanks very much for checking me out i hope you consider subscribing and all the details will be below if you wanted to contact me if you want to support this channel or if you want to any of the cards for yourself that i use here all the details will always be below the timestamp as well the, on the description and on the first pinned comment this is going to be group number one two and three you can always just stop and uh, meditate a little bit, see which one resonates the most. Go with your gut feeling. Your first choice is most likely the right one. But of course, you can watch the full video, see which one resonates the most. And if it does, let me know, leave me a comment. And if you're coming from her channel, let me know. If you go from my channel to her channel, let, let her know as well that you, you're going from here. And I'm going to be really happy if you check her out, okay? Again, group number one, two, and three. Thanks very much for watching. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful yellow crystal, we live here to help us out. What is blocking you from finding love? We have here quite a few cards, okay? We have the moon. We have the queen of cups. And we have the fool. We also have, uh, I'll read the full message, but the message here, love makes the difference. We also have uh, treasure your loved ones. You can see everything. We also have trust. I'll read the full message in a bit, okay? Also have kindness. And we do have, uh, I'm sorry, just make sure you can see everything. And we also have the void. Interesting card here for you, group one. Just make sure you can see everything. Straight away here, right, with uh, the moon. This is interesting because the moon really represents secrets, you know, something that uh, needs to be coming up to light. And maybe in this case, because you're looking what's blocking you, you have not maybe been able to open up with someone else, share all your past or the things that uh, were going on in your life. Or maybe there's something in your past uh, or that you're hiding from anybody that you meet new that you're just trying to hide and you don't want to show up and express yourself okay just uh, maybe not being very emotionally connected because the queen of cups okay it's all about emotions and in this case we are looking in the blocking sides okay what is blocking and in this case it could be that uh, you have been too emotional okay and not being able to communicate properly Okay, and uh, maybe not being able to em connect emotionally as well because you are still maybe connected with your past or something that is a secret, that's something that's still being hidden from someone else. Okay, so you're not being able to maybe share here what's going on really in your mind or with your feelings, okay, N with uh, anybody that comes close to you. So any new relationships, you're not really being... Um, active and jumping into you know trying to learn more about the person and getting to know them and trusting so there's 
a problem here with trust, okay? In this case here, the full, we are looking on the opposite side, right? So what is blocking? So you're not being able to jump into the next relationship, okay? There's something holding you. And you can see here, like the dog holding, okay? In this case, you're not going for, for it. You're not giving a chance. Maybe you're finishing the relationships too soon. Or maybe, you know, it happened that the other one finished soon, okay? Because maybe they, they were, you were not able to connect emotionally. But there is something holding you back from sharing, okay? So maybe it's your past. Maybe you're still connected with your past relationships and you're not given a chance to new ones. So you know your situation, guys. Like, always take what resonates, okay? What I'm saying is that uh, you're not being able to share everything. So you're not, not that we are able to always trust straight away someone, especially if it's new, but just to give a chance, okay? To take that leap of faith. So it's like you're not even giving a chance to someone and then you finish sooner or you're not you're not really allowing to progress okay we do have here also a treasure treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so i feel like this is connected again to what i'm saying here that is not going too deep so you're not allowing uh, the relationship to get serious maybe you're afraid that you get serious really or to get hurt okay maybe connected with your past maybe you were hurt in the past okay like many of us we have been hurt in the past, but then because of that, you created walls and you don't want it to give a chance or you don't want it to get too serious, okay? So it's like the moment you get a bit too serious, maybe you're getting scared and you, you're not taking that leap of faith, okay? Like the fool would jump, you wouldn't, okay? You're holding back in this case. And we do have uh, love makes the difference, okay? The message here is love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Okay, I feel like this is connected with what I'm saying here, that there's something like maybe secrets, maybe things from your past that are holding you back. And like I say, it is normal, right? When we get hurt, we create those walls. But in this case, if you really want to move from this situation that you are right now, if you wanted to really find, you know, uh, love and move on, maybe from your past relationship, from your heart, you needed to allow someone else to enter into your life, okay? So build, uh, put down a little bit of the walls, but it is a matter of understanding and trusting as well. Of course, that can take a little bit of time, but in the beginning, any relationship will be a little bit of a chance, right? So like the fool, we will need to take that leap of faith in order to see. We may get hurt again, yes, but in this case, not trying at all it will never you will never know right so maybe you are missing the chance to meet someone just because you're not even trying and in, like i'm saying guys in this case there is a need to heal something from your past right like it's saying here love helps heal past hurts so if you allow the next person you know when you get to know them a little bit you give a chance i feel like the next person you will be able to heal your past hurts Okay, so if you give a chance and the trust, the message here is you have a stronger connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. I feel like this here is more like an affirmation. If you don't feel like that, you can use this as an affirmation, okay, that you have a strong connection with your soul's loving voice. So I feel like you are intuitive, okay, and because of that, because you know where you have been and how you got hurt, you understand and you, you're trying to avoid that, of course, you know. But at the same time, you can you need to have faith, okay, in your intuition that uh, when you know it's not the right person, you can walk away. I understand that. But if you have a feeling that this is a chance and you're just walking away because of fear, okay, to to listen to your intuition in that in the sense of trust in your intuition to give that chance to someone. And kindness is here, okay. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. I feel like this is connected with the sharing, what I was saying that you're not being able to share, like the moon, there's something that is still hidden there. And it's normal to not being able to share, of course, when you, like I said, when you just meet someone. But in this case, it's really to pay attention and see if there's anything else you can do to trust this person. Can you, can you at least give a chance, okay? Because I feel here, the, the block here is like you're cutting way too short, okay? It's like you're cutting this way too soon. You're not giving the chance to get to a deeper, to get to a trustful relationship. So it's like you're cutting way too soon because you're afraid maybe of getting hurt again. And again, guys, it's normal, right? 
when we get hurt we create walls but if you really wanted to give a chance to love again and take away all the blocks you will need to take the chance right to trust your intuition okay and trust your intuition to remove anything any any previous patterns as well okay guys if there is anybody that uh, had hurt you in the past and you know there was a pattern okay a similar person you you may try to avoid that maybe it's trying to take a leap of faith here like the fool is someone completely new really different from your past relationships and see if that's what is the way okay so trust your intuition guys okay and uh, you have uh, a way to turn this around as well and you can see here with the i'm sorry i can see here the message is defensiveness writing past wrongs um, uprooting again connected guys defensiveness like i said creating the walls because of past hurts and uh, this i'm sorry here it, it's mainly for yourself okay like forgiveness to yourself because it happens if someone says sorry to you or not you need to give yourself a chance to heal in any case right so whether they came back to you or not being defensive all the time will just avoid someone else like i said to have at least a chance to get to know someone in progress you know in the next relationship and you do have the void as well which is saying stop embrace winter great cosmic womb and i feel like this card here really says so much about healing as well okay like this card here is saying uh, love makes a difference and love helps you uh, with past hurts this here is saying that uh, if you need to take a little bit of time for yourself to just analyze and see where is this hidden issue that uh, like i said this past hurts that uh, could you still be lingering now to the present and is stopping you from finding love what is that that you need to deal with okay and heal to be able to move on and open the door for a new love for other options in your life and new people to come and like i said trust your intuition guys okay maybe change okay analyze if there is a pattern there of a similar kind of person that you want to avoid and give a chance leap of faith to someone completely new and a new love can really help you hurt, you know heal from the past hurts okay like this one this this here is saying love helps you heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth so i feel like guys you have all the chance to create this and security and self-worth again okay you just needed to allow and open the door again so you can have the chance to find the love again it doesn't mean that it's easy guys okay i'm just saying that especially when we get hurt is a natural thing to create walls but in this case if you if you actually want to move from where you are at the moment okay it's a matter of self-analyzing to see where you need to heal and give the chance but trust yourself trust your intuition to not give a chance to anybody that may be so similar to your past okay so give a chance to someone maybe completely new i feel like some of you already have someone different in your life that maybe is trying to persuade you and you're not giving a chance so maybe that's the person that you should give a chance and get to know okay and and use of kindness as well and maybe this is the one so i feel for some of you already have someone there that maybe you're trying to avoid but because it's so different from your past but maybe that's exactly what you need someone completely different okay so guys that's what i have here for you i feel like you just needed to really allow yourself to heal and uh, put down the walls and trust again okay allow and don't give up so soon okay give a chance to get to know someone first and uh, let me know guys if it helps you out in some way and again check my friend the uh, moon moth goddess you know check her channel check maybe you wanted to check the same pile number one and see what happens there resonating with you and maybe adding on to this reading as well and if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and again thanks very much for watching Group number two, if we chose this beautiful blue crystal, we need here to help us out. What is blocking you from finding love? We have quite a few cards here. We have here the five of wands. We have the six of pentacles. Also the hanged man. And uh, I'll read the message to you in a bit. Okay, we do have uh, practice compassion. Also forgiveness. We also have here harmony. 
and individuality. I'll read all the full messages in a bit, okay? We also have deep cellular healing and earth pulsing. Interesting cards here for you, group two. Straight away here, guys, with the five of wands, we see fights, misunderstanding, miscommunication, you know, maybe having that hard head that you want your way and not listening to someone else, okay? This is a lot of uh, fight and uh, maybe you are too quick to pick a fight, okay? In Or maybe you have been in past relationships, right? If you, um, you are looking into finding love again. So maybe there has been lots of fights or bickering and find in like fight for no reasons or for things that are really small and uh, fighting for every single thing is instead of like taking the time to find a little bit of balance. Okay, there was a bit of unbalanced situation here. There was a need to create balance, but maybe it was one sided. Okay, so just maybe one side was I'm not saying it was only you okay i'm just saying that uh, that's what i see here so what is blocking in this case blocking you okay so it could be that uh, the past relationship there was too many fights and uh, quick to pick a fight as well and not being able to listen to the other one and uh, see the other side as well of a situation a completely unbalanced uh, relationship okay and uh, not being like a, like the hanged man here, not really taking the time to see things from a different perspective, okay? Because we are seeing these cards as the block, what is blocking, okay? And the hanged man is really showing like someone that should be taking things from a different perspective and listen to someone else's uh, position and trying to understand why they are not happy with the situation, why the, why the fight is started to begin with. And uh, in this case here, Maybe you have been too quick to pick a fight and not really listening to the other one, okay? And uh, at least try to see from a different perspective, from their side, okay? From putting yourself in their shoes. And in this case here, there is a need, guys, for forgiveness, okay? Because they're saying here, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And uh, maybe you're holding back to this previous relationship that you had, that uh, it was a lot of fights and all, but, but you are still connected and uh, holding on to that. And maybe you're trying to forgive yourself because you understand that uh, you have been wrong or you could you could have made it, made a little bit more of an effort. You know your situation, guys. Like, always take what resonates, okay? But what I'm saying here is that there is a need of forgiveness, okay? And forgiveness could be in, in two ways here forgiving the other person that could have hurt you in the past or your previous boyfriend or girlfriend, okay, your previous relationship and forgiving yourself for allowing you to get to this point without uh, realizing or without uh, giving a chance really, okay? And we do have here practice compassion, okay? See things from a fresh perspective, very much connected here with the hanged man, right? You know, I don't pick and choose these cards, guys, that we just shuffle and organize here. We're seeing them together here now. So very much connected here. Practice compassion. So whenever you have a chance now for a new relationship, guys, to just really analyze and put yourself in their shoes, okay? See the situation from a different perspective and practice compassion. Not being so quick to pick a fight or not uh, be so defensive for your own position, your own mentality. It doesn't mean that you are wrong, but to just at least give a chance to hear the other one and they have a mature re a discussion, a mature... There is even a way of fighting in a, in a more positive way, you know, like discussions and all, but not uh, being offensive or not getting to the extreme. I feel like those fights here were completely out of what the issue was really about and just fighting for other things completely different. You know, when we start offending each other and uh, things go get out of hand. So maybe this did happen. And maybe you feel a bit guilty now with the, with the need of the forgiveness card here as well. But don't worry, guys. It's never too late, right? So if you feel like you really wanted to open the door for, for to find love again, or maybe you wanted the other person back, okay? You know your situation, of course. Well, first of all is the forgiveness, right? Forgiving yourself, forgiving the other, and practice compassion, okay? It's very clear here. 
and we have the harmony, you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. And I feel like this here connected very much with the Six of Pentacles, trying to find that balance, right? So it's not only one-sided. There's a little bit of a compromise that needs is when you are in a relationship that you need to listen to the other. Maybe it's not your idea. Maybe it's not their idea. Maybe the compromise is a third idea, some, something in the middle, okay? Trying to find solutions. And the individuality as well. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So I feel like this here can be, guys, can be an affirmation for you and uh, individuality. And I feel like this, you can use as an affirmation that you can leave your unique stamp of love, but also to not lose your individuality in a relationship. This is really connected when you go so much into, so deep into a relationship that you forget about your friends, you forget about yourself, you want to just only stay with this person. And this causes fights as well, okay? This can cause fights between you and this person because you, you only stay in that bubble of the relationship and don't see anything else so it's very hard to really live your life only inside that because that's not reality so any when you get into the point of fight then you have nobody else to maybe take an idea or just have someone advising you or helping you in a situation so just to pay attention guys if you are going too too much into a relationship that uh, you would losing your individuality as well, okay? Don't forget that you need to take time for yourself. You need to still have your friends, your family, and the, and the relationship as well. So take that to your next relationship, okay, guys? So forgiveness, practice uh, compassion, your individuality, and trying to find that balance and being able to see things from a different perspective. We do have here as well uh, deep cellular healing. And in the message here is, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. And I feel like really connected with the forgiveness here, guys. There is a need of healing here from the past, from whatever these previous relationships caused you so far. And there is a need of healing here. And in this case, it's, it's saying physical and emotional healing. Okay, so you know a situation, guys, like always take what resonates. But I'm saying like, if there is something that you need to bring into your mind into your reality maybe you needed to speak again with this person just to tell them that you forgive them that you forgive yourself or maybe you just want to resolve things within yourself okay and that's fine it's just a need to clear that first before moving forward okay and we do have here the earth pulsing and the message is pulse of the mother's slow down time in nature it's really a practical way for you to Practice forgiveness, practice the healing. It's asking you to go to the into nature and slow down a little bit, okay? Like I said, maybe you are too fast here, too quick to pick a fight, to speak up and defensive, you know, defensiveness and being really, really quick with your words and, you know, stand up for yourself all the time. And maybe it's a time to just to slow down a little bit, find that balance, okay? And the uh, time in nature if you can okay maybe it's just going out a little bit in your garden maybe it's the front of your house a quick walk okay around the neighborhood it doesn't mean something really long or far something quick that it can help you rejuvenate and think clearly and open your mind and uh, start healing okay so and physical and emotional healing okay a walk outside can really help you physically and emotionally so it's just an idea here guys really like always, take what resonates. But what I'm saying is that it's really a need of forgiveness, okay? Practice compassion, individuality, not forgetting about yourself, of doing things for yourself, not getting too emerged into a relationship, trying to find a balance, okay? I feel like some of you still want your past, your ex back, okay? So if you want to really fight for that, you may need to really practice forgiveness and go back and have a proper communication, okay? And uh, in any case, it will have to be a big change here, like I say, individuality, taking care of yourself first, and uh, really trying to find that balance first. It's not impossible, okay, if that's what you want. If, if you really want to just to find the new love, and open the doors, just unblock and uh, find completely new. It's all about yourself, okay? In this case, healing, think about yourself, your individuality, what you have to offer, your uniqueness, okay? 
and the put yourself first a little bit with the healing, physical, emotional, and the, to be able to see things from a different perspective, even in your own life, and open the doors for the next relationship, okay? That's what I see here for you guys. Like always, I take what resonates. I hope it helps you out. Do check my friend, the Moon Moth Goddess. Maybe you wanted to pick the same uh, pile number two in her reading, or maybe on something different. You see there, maybe it will complement this reading. Maybe her, maybe you will check her first and this is complementing her reading. You see, guys, what resonates. Like always, let me know if it helps you in some way. And if it does, I'm always happy to hear from you. Leave me a comment and I'm trying to respond to all of them. And again, I hope it helps you out in some way. And you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. If you chose this beautiful purple lilac crystal, we live here to help us out. What is blocking you from finding love? We have here the Page of Cups. Also the Tree of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Also present. I'll read the message in a bit. Willingness. Honesty is essential. Spend quality time together. Also have the courageous peony. I'll read the message in a bit. And we have your life is a canvas. Lovely. Just make sure you can see everything. Okay, guys, straight away here, group three with the page. The page is a little bit childish, okay? So the page is learning and it's too quick, you know, to pour the emotions and, uh, you know, maybe too dramatic, okay? So maybe that was you, okay, in your, in your past relationships, or maybe that is you still right now and maybe you wanted to unblock that and move on. And But I'm showing here a little bit of uh, childish behavior, okay? Like very quick to to get so dramatic in any situation, fighting for what you want, or thinking that uh, everything is against you. It's, you know, fights for, for really small, stupid things. And uh, maybe here with the Tree of Cups as well, feeling left out and issues with commitment as well. And uh, maybe jealousy, okay? With the Queen of Wands here, there was some kind of issue with uh, believing on the other person and trusting the other person okay like being extra jealous with any friends that they could have or you know any past uh, relationships that they had or if they were friends with their their ex or something like that like being very very jealous and the uh, fights with the uh, friends as well or not wanting the other person to have friends and really emerging completely into a relationship leaving your own friends behind you know leaving your family behind just thinking about this person so dramatic thinking in some kind of you know dramatic movie something like that you know so it's a bit of drama here that needs to really unblock here for your life because if you it most likely didn't serve you okay in the past relationships right and uh, to unblock this, or even maybe you are in this relationship right now and you're trying to unblock and find the love in this relationship. So, you know, a situation, guys, like always take what resonates. And uh, really, it's about uh, seeing things from the a more mature relationship, okay? So a more mature point of view and uh, not being so quick to, you know, so emotional. Be a little bit uh, analytical, use a little bit of your mind over the emotions, not all the time, but just sometimes, right? To not to go so quickly into judging someone, not believing on them, and, uh, you know, give a chance to listen to what the other person has to say, or maybe understand that uh, everybody has a past, everybody has other friends as well, that they, when they come new to your life, they come with, uh, you know, some kind of uh, luggage, okay, of their own friends, their family, their exes. So you do need to understand you do have that as well, and there's no way around, but just to understand, and the trust can start growing slowly, okay? So I feel like there was jealousy, something like that, that needs to unblock here. So you really need to trust, and jealousy is really about the self-esteem and believing that anybody else is better than you, when that's not the case. We are all unique, 
and you have so much to offer yourself. So there's no reason to be jealous of anybody else when you understand that you have so much to offer, okay? And if someone wants to be really with you, they will have exes or friends that they will have to take the time away and have time with you, but they also have to have their own lives, okay? Shouldn't be just merging yourself into the relationship because you really have to take care of yourself as well and have time for yourself, for your own friends and do other things apart of just emerging into a relationship and take a more mature point whenever you have something, you feel like something is wrong, just give a chance to listen to the other person before thinking everything is against you or, you know, having that much drama into a relationship, all the fights. So just give a chance to listen and to have a more mature discussions, okay? And we do have here the present. The message is you live in a moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. I feel like this here has really resonated to what you can do, like using this as an affirmation, that you can bring this uh, living into the moment, okay? I feel like this is really connected with uh, being jealous of uh, your your past or someone else's past, okay? Not being able to really live on the present, but you can do, okay? When you is saying here, you're able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. I feel like this is in two ways, like because most likely you're not with uh, this person anymore. You're trying to unblock to find the love again. So you can bring the love into your situation that you can clear any jealousy, anything from your past that could have hurt you and you got jealous because maybe someone did cheat on you and it was unfaithful to you and, uh, you know, we got it to this point because you are jealous for a reason and maybe you're thinking less of yourself, but love, you have the energy, okay? Like I say, you can use this as an affirmation. You can bring this back into your current circumstances, bring the love back to yourself and understand that you deserve the best, okay? You have so much to offer. And willingness, okay? You are able to compromise if the end result is love. I feel like this is really something to keep in mind, okay? Whenever you are with someone new now, the next relationship that you have, to have uh, being able to compromise, okay? And understand that, uh, that some things are not worth fighting for and um, just pick really your battles. That there are some things that are too small to fight, and you should really uh, have that willingness to find a compromise and find a solution between the two of you and uh, not having only your way and, you know, balance a little bit that it's, it's a need here. And honesty is essential, okay? Speak with love and truth. So you need, guys, to be speaking with more love and truth, okay? Not hiding. And um, speaking with love would avoid the fights as well and the drama of fights, the kind of way that uh, we end up fighting and uh, there is no need when you are you are being honest okay it's not because you're gonna hide your feelings you are gonna be honest but speaking with love and truth is a difference there because it's the way you approach the person you're not accusing anybody of doing something wrong you're just asking you know you're just trying to understand the situation just being honest with love and truth and we do have here spend quality time together listen and talk to each other this is really something that, guys, you will need to do for your new relationship. You will need to listen more. Like I say here, the Page of Cups is really quick to speak, all the emotions, pouring everything, okay, all the drama. There is a need to, to listen more and talk more with the other person, okay? Spend time together. For some of you guys, maybe you're still with this person and you wanted to find love in this relationship still, and there's a chance here if you spend more time together okay listen and talk to each other this is for some of you who are still maybe still with the person trying to find love in this relationship but if you're trying to find love for yourself you're just trying to unblock here and you don't have someone okay you will need to be able to listen more and talk more to this other person okay when they come to your life and we do have here the courage the courageous pointing is a multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen. I, f I feel like this is very interesting here with uh, what I was saying about uh, you feeling maybe left out or feeling less of yourself that you don't deserve something and that bringing jealousy or insecurity. And this is really showing again that you are unique, okay? You, your unique nature. You have so much to offer. We all have some things, some gifts, some qualities 
okay? You have that. And uh, think about the, yourself. Put yourself first and understand that you have so much to offer, okay? You can be this queen of wands. And uh, male or female, okay? Just the energy of the queen. But not the side that is jealous or quick to judge. But the side that uh, has intuition, believe in, the, in herself, that, you know, is courageous, can speak the truth and be honest with love, okay? And uh, the other card here is your life is a canvas, okay? Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. This is very interesting with the creative accountability because you're the one who creates a reality, okay, guys? Whether it's good or bad, you're creating this. So you have a, your life as, a, as an artist, okay? Like, like a canvas, what are you creating? What are you manifesting? Okay. If you want that relationship that you will be able to trust and to really mature and grow together, you really need to give a chance to listen, to talk with love, to be honest. And you can manifest this. Okay. Whether you are trying to bring back your, your ex or you're trying to manifest a completely new relationship, you can manifest whatever you want. Okay. Group three, you are really powerful here with the manifestation and you can do anything you want, okay, in this case. If you want to bring back the person that you still love, if you want to just open door for a completely new love, you do have a big chance here, okay, because you have the manifestation. It, your life is a canvas, so it's blank canvas, guys. Whatever has happened so far, use it as learning, okay, Using uh, use as stepping stones for you to learn about yourself, about what you don't want to do anymore and what you want to manifest in your life. So I feel like it, this is a really beautiful card here for you guys to grow and take a more mature approach to yourself and your relationships, the way you communicate, the way you want someone into your life. Just uh, like this one, honesty is essential, but speak with love and truth. Okay, this is what I have here for you guys. This is really nice. You can really, really take this and manifest what you want now, which is very powerful. And I hope it helps you out and resonates in some way. Check my friend Moon Moth Goddess. You know all the links below as well. Maybe you want to check the same pile in her reading to complement this one. Or maybe you hear from her side and complementing her reading. So you see, guys, if it resonates, like always, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. And again, thanks very much for watching.